This video is sponsored by Skillshare. More about them later in the video. Really beautiful area back here. Love this landscape here in Southern Utah. I'm trying to find uh, some compositions, trying to predict where the sun is going to be tomorrow morning and then later on today. And I'm you know, marking some locations, some GPS coordinates so that I can come back later and uh, do some photography when the, when the light is better. So anyway, the reason I'm making this video is because I have found oftentimes when I'm out in a landscape like this and I'm on my own and I'm you know, spending a lot of time upstairs thinking about things, and oftentimes the, the philosophical side of photography tends to kind of blend and kind of get all you know, mixed up in the philosophical side of life itself. And something that I've been thinking about is the influence that landscape photography has had on me as a person. So I've been uh, typing up or um, yeah, I've been typing up some things on my phone and I have uh, five things that I want to share with you. Five life lessons that I have learned from landscape photography. Okay, so the uh, first life lesson to be learned from uh, landscape photography, destinations can and will change. Some of my most favorite images are the ones that were never planned. The ones that I did not discover on social media, the ones that I didn't find on someone else's website and then go out and find in the real world and take a photo of. They're the images that I just happened to discover by being in the right place, the right time, and by being curious and always looking around, you know, the next corner to see what's there. I can't tell you how many times I've like been on my way somewhere to photograph something and I've looked out the window and been like, wow, that would be, you know, a really good image. Like, you know, I should go shoot that, but I'm on my way to create this other one. And I get there and I'm like, not excited by it. And, and I just want to get back in the car and go back to, <laughs> to what I saw before. So when it comes to photography and I think life itself, it's always important to remain flexible and to you know, respect the journey and you know, not, to, not get so caught up in goals and destinations and you know, ticking boxes and that kind of stuff. I think it not only leads to better photographs, but I think it leads to you know, just a healthier outlook on life. Um, as well. Okay, beautiful rock formations back here. I've been um, spending some time photographing those this morning. Uh, so life lesson number two that can be learned from landscape photography, failure equals progress. It's impossible to create good images unless you shoot a lot of bad ones. <laughs> and I don't know, I feel like I've lived with, you know, a fear of, of failure and a fear, a fear of making mistakes for a, a pretty good portion of my life. And, and I would fear mistakes and I would fear failing at something because I would see it as a deficiency of some kind. Like I would see it as, you know, lacking skill or lacking uh, or, you know, lacking intelligence or lacking talent. I, I feel like I have a healthier outlook on it now because, you know, I can go out on a trip like this. I can get up super early in the morning. I could go out and hike up a tall mountain thinking I'm going to get this great image, put in tons of effort uh, in order to do it and walk away with nothing and walk away without anything from it. And that used to bother me a lot more than it does now. Now I look at that experience and, and, and you know, when that happens, I think, well, you know, it's all part of it. It's all part of learning and growing. And if you're not pushing yourself and trying things, well, you know, nothing's, nothing good is ever gonna happen. A little bit windy tonight out here. It's uh, a bunch of sand is blowing around and, um, oh man. So uh, yeah, let's do this. Life lesson number three to be learned or that can be learned from landscape photography. The first step is showing up. I mean, as the old saying goes, no effort, no reward, right? I mean, if you're you know, looking for good light, which you know, if you're a landscape photographer, of course, that's something that you're looking for. Well, you have to put in the effort. I mean, you have to get up early in the morning. You have to um, you know, sometimes hike in the dark, sometimes before the sun comes up or after the sun goes down. There's no guarantee in anything. And the least I can do is just show up and put in the effort and be present and ready and available 
just in case something happens. <laughs> Getting yourself out there and just being ready and available with your camera mounted on your tripod in a good place, ready to go just in case something happens. So yeah, first step is always showing up. So I've got two more life lessons coming up, but first I gotta take a break and thank the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. The topic of this video of mine inspires you. I recommend checking out on Skillshare a class taught by illustrator Mimi Chow. Her class is about how to live a more fulfilling, creative life. And I especially enjoyed her class because she hasn't always been an illustrator. She actually used to be a lawyer of all things before that. She began her career as a lawyer, but ultimately felt unhappy and unfulfilled and decided to leave her career in order to pursue in life what it was that she was most inspired by and what gave her uh, the, the greatest degree of happiness, which was illustration. And in her class, she teaches a step-by-step -step process and framework that anyone can follow in order to live a happier, more fulfilled life, whatever it is that you are doing, whatever it is that your creative craft may be. She shares not only tips for how to be more creative, but also how to live a more mindful life, how to be more connected with the work that you are creating, and how to be more connected with the life that you are living. And the good news is, is that you can check out her entire class by signing up for a free trial of Skillshare. All you have to do is be one of the first thousand people to click on the link down below in the video description and you can check out her class absolutely free in addition to all the other classes that are available on Skillshare. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Okay, so life lesson number four to be learned from uh, landscape photography, and by the way, I am uh, recording this on the microphone and my GoPro because my <laughs> my Rode Wireless Go, the battery in it died this morning, so hopefully this will be okay. So life lesson number four, recognize what you can and cannot control. This is a realization I would bet most people probably have when they first you know, start getting into landscape photography. At least I know it definitely was for me. The realization that so much of it is completely out of my hands. So much of it is, you know, just, you know, beyond anything that I have influence over. I can't, you know, I can't control the light. I can't control the quality of light. I can't control where the light is coming from. I have no control over the landscape. I can't be moving things. You know, the, that little voice in the back of my head's like, well, it's out of your control. Like, there's nothing you could do about it. You did everything you could. As I said earlier, I showed up right? I mean, I made the effort. I was there. I was present. I was ready for something to happen. That part of the process I could control. And, you know, I got out of bed this morning and I came here. <laughs> and the rest is beyond me. And I think it's a very good and effective way of uh, not just, you know, creating better images and being less stressed and less anxious, you know, doing landscape photography, but it's also like a very good principle to live by. It's almost like creating two columns in your life, you know, put the things that you can control in one and the things that are just completely out of your control in the other. Anything that's in that column of like things you have no control over is not worth your time. It's not worth, you know, wasting time and energy worrying about, being stressed about, being anxious about, because those things are going to do whatever it is that they're going to do. But everything in the other column, the things that are under your control, that is absolutely something that, that you can uh, focus your energy on and perhaps get better results out of and perhaps live a, a happier life from. That's it for number four. Uh, recognize what you can and cannot control. So the fifth and final life lesson uh, that can be learned from pursuing landscape photography, patience. I very much think that landscape photography is like a, a hurry up and then slow down kind of a thing because oftentimes, especially in a landscape like this, you know, I'm like, you know, hiking in, I'm trying to get there quickly. I'm trying to get there before, this, before the sun goes down, or maybe I'm trying to get there before the sun comes up. That's, that's almost even more stressful. And then once I get there, you know, I have to slow down, you know, really bring my energy down, bring some of that adrenaline down so that then I'm able to focus so that then I'm able to, to be a little more patient, a little more thoughtful and to be a little more careful with my compositions and not just, you know, run around crazy with a tripod trying to capture everything and, and, you know, everything that I see and getting one good image, then capturing like your 20, 25, 
you know, just mediocre images or images that I'm not happy with. It's so important just to take your time and slow down and just be patient and just be thoughtful with it. And I think that's a life lesson that can be applied to so many other things in life as well, not just landscape photography. So now I would love to hear from you. I would love to know, what have you learned? Is, is there a valuable life lesson that you have learned? Leave me a comment down below, share it with me and uh, share it with others as well. What an evening, absolutely beautiful. Uh, thanks so much to uh, Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate the support. It makes stuff like this possible here on my channel. And uh, thanks so much, I appreciate it. That's it everyone, I will see you next time.